Hey doing everyone, it's Kevin. Uh, this video I'm going to give you an update on the materials and where I've been gathering them for my 72 inch grinder, sander grinder for my knife making. I'm going to give you an update on where I'm getting my materials from and um, what parts I have already. To, I, have, I, I need a couple more little things but uh, not much and we're going to get started on this thing okay now um the research i've been doing on the 72 inch um sander um i've been taught you know i've i've looked all over the place and people tell me you know they get their belts offline okay these are ceramic belts here they're supposed to be a good belt i ordered them from especially abrasives i got this off the internet this guy off the internet Actually, his name's Al. Really nice guy. These guys are good to you, and uh, they'll fix you right up. So I'm going to leave a link down below in case you guys are getting ready to build one of these or you're wanting to know where I've got my belts. This guy gave me a really good deal. I got four different belts here, different grades. And uh, like I said, he gave me a really good deal on it. I'd like for you guys to go up there, check him out. If you're going to buy them, that's where I decided to buy my belts from. So, like I said, I'll leave a link down there. You can check it out. So, I ended up, I got my 72-inch belt. Now, I needed these belts to be able to judge the distance I need my pulleys apart. So, we got the belts. I did a little video on the wheels. These are just skateboard wheels. I've yet to see anybody really cut any of these down online. So, I did a video on cutting these down in line. You can see they got the... The little bevel on them or taper or whatever you want to call it. If you haven't seen that video, go in there and check it out. I got them cut down pretty nice. Now these are just flat yet. You can see the difference in them. And uh, the bevel looks nice or the, the, the edge on them looks good. So check that out if you haven't seen it. Now I uh, got a bunch of springs here. I don't know exactly how I'm going to tension them yet. But I had these laying around. I figured I'd gather them up and... Uh, don't know exactly how I'm going to do the tension yet. And then I got one of these too, which will fit in my uh, square tubing. I have a couple old handles. I took off some old machinery, uh, some things that I had laying around. I usually tie them up and throw them on a pegboard just in case. I might need a handle. Now, we picked up a motor. Just picked it up this morning. Got it at the uh, flea market. The guy had a whole table saw. Didn't know what he wanted for it wasn't going to ask. I thought maybe he won a little too much for it. But I ask anyhow. Never hurts to ask. I got a horse and a half. It's a one and a half horsepower motor. I bought the whole table saw for $25. I took, the, actually somebody come through and wanted the table saw. I told them if you jake that motor and the switch off, I'll give you the table saw for free. So I gave the guy the table saw. He gave me the motor and the switch off of it and it works great now it's, the motor is going to need cleaned up a little bit and that's not a problem we'll clean it up real nice but this is a non-reversible motor so i'm going to have to make sure i'm getting it the right direction uh, the way i want to put it on now the steel i went to huntington steel and most of the time when i buy this stock this is not used stock. This is actually new stock. I have a seven foot. I think the, the bigger stock here is seven foot and the smaller stock is about ten foot. Now, if you guys are going to be buying this stock and you're going to go to somebody like Huntington Steel, which uh, I'll leave a link down there for Huntington Steel. Um, ask them when you go in there, ask them, do you have any scraps? Okay, now these are cutoffs. This is what somebody didn't want. Ask them, say, hey, you have any scraps I can go through? I got a small project I want to do, and I need some small pieces of steel. Otherwise, you have to buy this stuff in 20 foot, foot lengths. But this has a seam on the inside of this steel. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's actually a seam that goes down the inside of this. And with that seam going down the inside of it, this piece here is, won't exactly fit. So I'm going to have to sand this down a little bit to get it to fit really snug into this here. 
it's either too tight or too loose, no matter how you buy it. So I'm going to do the sanding because I only need a few pieces that will go in and out. But we'll do that in the process of building the machine. I'll show you how I'm going to do all that. Uh, so that's what materials I got so far. And what I'm going to do is I need a flat piece of steel to mount the whole thing on. I want the motor mounted directly to the, the stand, the, the sander itself. I want it all mounted together. So I'm going to get a big flat piece of steel. And then we can almost, I think we could get started on this. Now we're going to be building this pulley uh, for the uh, sander. We're going to be building it ourselves. And I'll probably end up building it out of wood right now. Because, I, I mean, I've seen some different videos on them. I'm sure I could buy this pulley, but uh, we're going to try building one just to see how it goes. Alright, so far, total on this project, I have about $79 in what you see. Um, which, I personally, for the sander that we're building, don't think that that's very much money. Now, as far as putting any more money into it, I think I'm pretty much done putting money into it. Now, I might buy a can of paint or something like that because I want it to look good. But other than that, I think it's going to be work now. Uh, so the next step, I'll have uh, the plate of steel and we'll have everything ready to start building on this that we may need uh, to build on it. So you guys are going to have to hang in there and check out the next video. We're going to start building process. Hey, I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.